Now, study session one is that in this study, we're expected to look at the definition, causes, and types of conflict. Assume the conflict is as old as mankind. As far as there is an existence of human being, there is, an, there is a social garden. And because there is a social garden, there is there are tend to be class of interest. And whenever there are a class of interest, definitely there will be conflict. So this course is going to take us through what conflict is. This session is going to take us through what conflict is all about, the causes of conflict, the types of conflict. We're going to make reference to the United Nations, bringing out their explanation as to what conflict is and their proposition on what should be or what denotes the causes of conflict in our society. The word conflict, as you know, was derived from the Latin word confidere, meaning strike together. Dictionary wise, the Webster Dictionary, Volume 1, 1971, says conflict means to strike. It means a fight, a struggle, a battle, a clash, a contention, a confrontation, a controversy or a quarrel, a negative opposition, a strife or incompatibility, to meet in opposition or hostility, to contend with. And to be contrary with all, you see areas where there are variations of various interests. So when we talk about conflict, we are talking about contradiction arising from in differences in interest, in ideas, in ideologies, in orientations, in beliefs, in perception, and in tendencies. When we talk about conflict, we are talking about aberration in norms, differences in what we hold to be our values and what we hold to be our norms. Although conflict is normal, natural, and inevitable phenomenon in every interactive situation of human being, contradiction definitely exists at all levels of the society. It is in that way that we have the intrapersonal contradiction, we have the interpersonal, the intra groups, the inter groups, the institutional, international, and international. Conflict is not necessarily negative in itself, it is often a byproduct of change that may lead to constructive transformation. Many scholars have come up with a better definition, and to be honest, scholars have been unable to say what conflict is. Most scholars try to define it in accordance with their discipline, or the, the orientation of their discipline. But we're going to look at Queen's 1990, page 19. It defines conflict as an opposition among social entities directed against one another. It, is, it, is, it distinguishes competition and defined as an opposition among social entities, independently striving for something of which the resources are adequate to satisfy all of them. Hence, when we talk about, if you follow this definition, it means that for us to talk about the fight conflict in this way, there is a key word that comes in, competition. And the funny thing is that the two parties involved in that competition will not even be aware that they are competing for the same thing. The point, two points that which are related to conflict analysis and which can be deduced from this definition. One is contrary to the old perspective, which we get from as natural. It is also friendly to our, our, our own knowledge that conflict is something that is inevitable and competition can be so regarded, so also inevitable. Many factors of condition relate to conflict. A lot of scholars have have proposed what would be the causes of conflict. But we're going to look at a few factors. We're going to look at a few causes here. Generally, conflict causes when there is a feeling of deliberate frustration. Hence, the reason we're going to, in the theoretical analysis, we're going to bring in the frustration aggression theory. This occurs when party, especially the dominant party, decides to subjugate and intimidate another party. Conflict occurs everywhere there are human beings. In school, for instance, there is always conflict between the authorities and the students. Hence, the reason where we have students going on rampage and students students going on riots in the school. Especially when issues of high school fees, electricity, removal of subsidies, and when their demands are ignored. Another thing that can cause conflict is also injustice. We will make reference to what is happening in Nigeria today: the issue of separatist agitation between the Nigerian government and the IPOB. The Biafra region, also the one we have in the West, the one we have with separatist group. All these are claims and counterclaims of being marginalized or injustice meted on them. So it is a good example that the movement for actualization of the state of Biafra and the movement of the other people, the one we have in Niger Delta, are a good pointer to what could be the cause of what? 
cause of conflict with regards to injustice. Another one is what we call unfulfilled promise. An example of that is the current or the consistent uh, conflict between the Nigerian government and the ASU. The ASU has, in several times, the federal government in several times have made promises to the ASU, but unfortunately have failed to fulfill these promises. And this has led to several times crises and conflict between the two parties. In our other areas, land and boundary adjustment is one of the factors that can also bring conflict. In our other areas, we have issues of such in the police state. We also have that such issues between the police state and Anambra state government. To some of the causes of conflict, we have to categorize them into four. The first one is conflict over psychological needs. Though that kind of conflict, a conflict that has to do with personal needs. The second one is conflict involving violence. When you talk about that conflict, this an example is what we see in Kano State, the Hispa conflict, where the Hispa, the pro Hispa are trying to bring a certain norm that the Christians there are against it. Another example is control conflict over resources. In short, the most contentious conflict we have in Nigeria today is the conflict over resources. Due to the mismanagement or the available of um, inadequacy or, would I say, unavailability of most resources to certain people, it has generated conflict in Nigeria. Another one is conflict over inadequate information. That one could be seen as something that comes when somebody gives an information and the receiver fails to get the message the person is passing. We're going to look at types of conflict. There are many types of conflict. But the first one we're going to look at is the interpersonal conflict. This conflict is called man against man type of conflict. It is a conflict I will have against you as a person. This is an external conflict between two individuals who may be in direct opposition who might still not be directly attacking themselves or might not even be aware that both of them are contending for a particular goal. Another one is what we call the intrapersonal conflict. Another one for it is what we call man against self type of conflict. This type of conflict comes in issues of choice of partner. Probably you have a, uh, a checklist of what you want to, a uh, person you want to get married to. But somehow you are in love with somebody who doesn't have all those things in your checklist. At that time, you have what we call internal conflict between yourself. The next one is the intra group conflict. This is a type of conflict that occurs among, among individuals within a team. Example, let me use an ambassador as an example. We have Apoga as a political party. Well, now they are having issues as to bring it up who will really be the flag bearer in the next governorship election. The Apoga is just a group. But within them, they are having conflict. That's an example of what we call intra group conflict. Another one is the intergroup conflict. This is a confrontation or a conflict between two different groups who might be chosen the same thing. Another example is, for instance, a contention between an state an government city in a, is basically between the PDP and in the Africa. This is the conflict between the two of them. Two different groups, but we were contest, contending for the same goal. Another one is a national conflict. This is a conflict within the nation. And Nigeria is an area of conflict. We have the IPO separatist movement. We have the Ebola Rudua separatist movement. We also have the Nigeria separatist movement. And at the same time, we see how they are working in their country. It is all these conflicts are regarded as national conflict. The next one is the international conflict. This involves conflict between states, two different states of the universe. An example is when Nigeria had a, a conflict between uh, Cameroon and Nigeria, when they were contesting as to the true owners of the Pakasi Peninsula. In the light of the above discussion so far, we've been able to do justice to the concept of conflict. We've been able to look at the causes of conflict where we make reference to the psychological need, the conflict for resources, the conflict for uh, inadequate conflict caused due to inadequate information, a lot of them. We've also been able to look at uh, the degree and intensity of conflict and the attitudes or mode of approach adopted by parties involved.